In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Stay with me now, because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Not sure. We got a bunch of these dudes who are apparently really strong, right? Attacking our castle. Ooh. So disrespectful. Oh? <gasps> it's a new supporter, girls. Okay, let her cook. All right. All right, the human experimentation. And we're still fighting there, yeah. I can't believe they're not taking out the camera, girls. They'll risk their life for everything. Okay, wait, this girl is exposing everyone. Right, Nedia went core implosion. Right, this is where we left off. Nedia went core implosion. Dual wielding. Diverse divide. It, it just cuts a lot, I think. Like, that's her... That's it for a core implosion? It, it just cuts really well? Okay. Nettie has somehow become the main character. And this bitch Gertrude is a traitor, but somehow she's still doing it for us. You deserve this. I hope you die right now, Gertrude. Fuck you and your name. Kill her. Yes. Behead her. This is the craziest fucking mental gymnastics I've ever heard in my life. The entire point. Like, the context here is that this maid Gertrude is Nedia's servant, right? Like, she's supposed to help us out. But this bitch betrayed us because she's actually, like, the Rainsworth's sister. But, actually, she's not betraying us because she's doing this for the sake of Nedia. Because she knows she's gonna fail. She, so she betrayed us for the sake of us. What the fuck is this mental gymnastics? Ooh. Oh, Vilhase is a mate too, come on! One punch! <laughs> that was four replays! That was four fucking replayed angles of the punch, which actually kind of looked kind of a little weak. Look at the impact of it. Boom! Two, three, four! Fuck you, Gertrude! Sakuna's like, damn, what did I just get myself into? <laughs> yeah, Gertrude, you didn't believe in us. I'm not gonna feel bad. I'm not gonna feel bad for Gertrude. Fuck you. I mean, I, like, I kind of get it, but at the same time, like, the mentality should have been, no, I always believed in you and I'll back you no matter what, instead of, because this is doing it because she doesn't have any faith in Nelia. Which is another fucking insult to injury. So she's basically saying, you would have never won, so it doesn't matter. So I wanted you to, I just wanted, I just betrayed you because you would have never beat Matt Hart. All right, whatever. Fuck! Now I'm gonna feel bad for shitting on Gertrude because she's been abused by Onisama and it was a fucking abusive relationship and Gertrude has no other choice but to do this. So actually, Gertrude is the victim even though she fucking betrayed us and snitched on us. <sighs> yeah, okay. Alright. Alright, Gertrude. Alright, Gertrude. Oh, you remember the band they remember? Oh, the cute dessert to eat on my birthday. Yeah, and after all you did this, you still betrayed her. After we did all this for you, I'm not gonna feel bad for you. Fucking mental gymnastics. This gaslighting bitch. Professional victim. Professional victim. Don't believe in these tears. Yeah, he is. Damn. Tell her, Nelia. <laughs> Why <is> she... <laughs> She's smiling while crying, saying thank you for everything. <laughs> like we're about to fucking execute her and kill her. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> no, 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 Gertrude's fine. Like, like we'll probably, I don't know, maybe we'll cut her head off, but like the dark core, no one actually dies in this show, right? <laughs> like this smile right now. <laughs> oh, I feel kind of bad now. Oh, God. Alright, alright. There we are, we made up. 
Gertrude and Nerdia, yeah, we're back. <sighs> Vilhay is better, though. Vilhay is way better. Destroy the universe? All these girls are super hyped up to have ridiculous powers, but they kind of shy away from it. So is that really true? Is Carla that broken? Can you just use core implosion and save the day? Ooh, this, oh no, Sakuna and Vil Hayes are gonna get cucked because now Nerea and Komari has a blood pack, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, Vil Hayes is still getting cucked. No, don't listen. She licked it off her face. Hmm? Make her drink your blood. Drink this shit. Yeah, just fuck it. Mm. Drink it. Yeah, sisters, incest. Yeah, this is even better. We're pretty much not blood related, but yeah, <laughs> let's share blood because we're family. We're sisters now. Perfectly fine. Vilhay is unfortunate getting cucked even though she's almost dying. This girl needs a fucking break, man. Oh, the big sister now, are you? Okay. Shove it in her fucking mouth. Oh, going a little. Oh, here we go! Core implosion! Why is the boss music playing? Why is the boss theme playing, guys? Wait, she has a sword? This is new, right? She has a sword? So far, I've only seen her fight barehanded. Northern Lights. Komari's core implosion just caused the Northern Lights. Oh shit. Yo, this is huge because so far everyone believed that Komari is weak, that she doesn't actually do fighting, right? Everybody just like thinks she's capping and she is capping, but right now with the news girls, if they're gonna broadcast it to everybody and she's fucking using her signature sword, holy fuck. Oh shit. It's the Warblade blood as well. So, Rio, you're right. Warblade blood, right? So far, we've only drank Vilhay's blood. So because it's a Warblade blood, she's able to summon the sword. Implying if we drink other faction girls' blood, and there's so many different nations, there's different Komari variants for core implosion. Oh, okay, okay. Komari. Her t-shirt sales are going to go through the roof. Oh. Damn. Multiple swords? This, this intermission fucking spoiled me, man. Bald. 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 This is, uh, remember Nui from Eminence in Shadow? This is, uh, her fiance, also dead in this show. I want to see Karen Sama fight, though. Wait, the priest gets, like, gauntlets to fight? Okay. Millicent theme! The best thing about this character is that every time she's introduced, her theme plays and her soundtrack, I think, is the best soundtrack in this anime. Play that shit. Ooh. What's up, losers? The armpit! Oh my god! Nani! Did she get stronger? Oh, we got back up to 5th unit. Okay, Millicent. She's got her own squadron now? Right! The 5th unit's the guy that we destroyed in the last arc, right? Because there was a there was a traitor. Which is funny because he was like Inverse Moon. But technically, she's also Inverse Moon. But because she's a waifu, she got reformed while the guy just is done. Alright, sure, Millicent's part of our crew now. No, you gotta let Komari fight! No, don't kill him! Oh no. Oh no. If she comes out... Komari. If I let her do... Oh, let her do it! Yes! Let her cook! Okay, thank god, thank god, thank god. Here we are! The main fight! Masaka! She Time to face the music? Creepy! Cringe! That's right, this is a Yuri show, no guys allowed. Yeah, little sis. Man. I wanna- I wanna- This kind of reminds me of the feeling I get when Frieden 
Frieden or Farron is like floating in front of the moon, just hovering. Something about this, the fact that someone descends from above and looks down on you is so intimidating like that, right? <laughs> Don't you look at others that way. What is this problem? Are we going to get a sad flashback? Nah, I'm not going to feel sorry for this asshole. Nani! That's another one. Bakana! Remember, everyone's watching this too. She is the best hype man. Yeah, the... The momentum shifting. Here we go. Here's our boys. Kauste. Wow. This is actually kind of huge. Because you know, like, in our faction, like, this group right here, we got the furry Kauste and beatboxing dude. But this guy on the top left, this is the first guy that we killed, right? This is a meme character that kind of betrayed us. But now, he's with the main group. So I guess a little redemption dub for this guy. Down, down, down. She's still building, guys. <laughs> All right, Carla. I like Carla's assistant. This girl's voice actor. Something about her voice sounds so... It's like ear candy. I don't know how to explain it. Her voice just sounds good. Big bro. Big bro? I don't think we know him yet. Oh, that's the sniper lolly. She's from the Six Land or some Six Nations, right? The 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 newspaper girl. She's got a funny laugh too. She's got a very funny laugh. Oh. Boom. Boom. Phase 2 boss theme. We know her brother, Kakume? I don't know, but holy shit. The Phase 2 soundtrack starts playing. Oh! Hold up! Okay, I want Komari to destroy Reigns for it. As much as, you know, she has her right to do it. Come on, we're here for fucking Komari's core implosion. Let's go. Damn. Okay, Adam and Steel, core implosion. <laughs> this is his core implosion. Bro just turns into metal. He just hardens himself. Like, this is a core implosion is supposed to be like the like the surpassing your limits supposed to be like this Bankai domain expansion. It's supposed to be your strongest fucking moves that you know. But bro, turn into metal. Iron body, yeah, from My Hero Academia. Like, this is your core implosion? Alright. Ooh, core implosion, Adam and Steel. Get out of here. Shouldn't do anything to your iron body, dude. How are you just gonna get bodied immediately? Oh, uh oh, it's already over. It's over. Yep. Dumbass. Dumbass. Yeah, this is reality. What does the ground do? Like, it keeps like hitting on the ground and it glows. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you're done. Get the fuck out of my face, dude. <laughs> what is this? Every time the sword hits, the ground turns the light. The blood right now is also turning into colors. Damn. Nedia, end him. End him. Cut his dick off. Oh, flashback. Nope, 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 nope. I will not feel sorry. I don't give a fuck if you're about to give me a sentimental story about a child Rainsworth and why he's doing this. Nope, I'm gonna fucking just skip this. Should I just skip this? No, we can't skip this. This is not classroom or delete reruns where we just skip the Sakura scenes. No, we can't skip it. All right, let's watch it. Let's watch it. Yeah, fuck this kid. Come on. Now, nah, fuck you, Gertrude. Fuck you, Gertrude. 
Bye bye. Bye bye. That's right. Cry, Gertrude. Cry. Good. Fuck this kid. Probably stole some food. This is a really good soundtrack, too. I do love this one. Nerio. Okay. This is their first meeting. She falls for him. All right. He falls for her. That's it? That's your flashback? I always loved you. <laughs> Execute him. <laughs> Repent! <laughs> Goodbye. And he's done. The blood all just becomes light. What is that? What does that mean? Bro is talking about fairness when he ordered 5,000 fucking like soldiers that are strong as a general to this place. And he's like, <laughs> this is unfair! We don't have a plan. It's just fucking let Komari do her thing. Matt Hart, come on. Can you fight? What do you got for us, Matt Hart? Oh, okay, he's cooking something. Yes. This entire time, the queen has just been sitting on the window side like this in the most disrespectful way. I love it. She is so badass. And the coolest thing is... She still hasn't fought. She hasn't done anything. In this entire season of 12 episodes, all she's done is just talk mad shit and let Komari handle everything. Oh, oh the queen moving? Oh, hello. What's up? Die, you too. It will happen. Bye-bye. Oh, two sisters combined. Oh. oh. That's a little bit much, don't you think? Hey, careful. <laughs> careful! <laughs> Matt Hart gets fucking Excalibur. Damn. That's a little bit too much. Come on now. But like, he's not actually dead, right? He's gonna come back, right? And his fucking shitty statue's gone too. This girl right here, this girl right here, this girl and the camera girl, golden. Without these two, this arc wouldn't have been very fun. From the beginning, they've just shown us these camera girls as covering news. They've been very fun. And because of them, the entire world was able to also watch it at the same time. I love it when characters like this happen. This is the teacher for uh, Millicent that I thought was going to show up in this arc, but not really. Big sister, though. Because Carla said that Carla has a big brother. But if she just said your big sister, so I'm trying to think, is this Carla's brother or not? But by the way that she just said your big sister. But then again, Carla might have a big sister too. I don't fucking know. The goddess? The goddess? Who's the goddess? Amatsu. Amatsu. Carla. Carla. Amatsu. Carla. Amatsu brother. This is him, right? I'm not crazy, right? Fuck you, Gertrude. Gertrude. And who? Dead? Oh, what? Gertrude Dub? Wait. Alright, you know what? Gertrude Dub at the end. This is nice. This is very wholesome. But I'm sorry, guys. I don't remember the dad being part of the plot. I haven't been paying attention. This is a very emotional moment, but Gertrude bringing the dad in, I had to think for a second and be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, the dad's missing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Fuck you, Gertrude. One month later, the credits are rolling. Okay, this guy is getting more redemption. Let's go. These two, I've always seen them pop up whenever our squad appears, and I always laugh because they look like goblins, got a mohawk, a crazy hairstyle. Actually, getting lines here. This is great. They're fighting each other now. Is there? Yeah, Bill Hayes, get in there. Stop getting cooked. Stand up for yourself. If you look at this frame too, look at Vil Hayes. There's a little bit of her hair strand in her mouth. I don't know why they're doing this, but very attention. Like, look at this. Bottom like, look at the Vil Hayes mouth right now here. Right here, right here. Now, for my degenerates, this kind of like immediately triggers my brain to something else. But no, it's not that. It's not that. Sakuna! 
See? Every time a new girl shows up, everybody gets cucked. It's a rotating cycle. Of these three, I am still Team Vilhaze. I've been loyal Vilhaze from the beginning before I even knew who she was. I'm still all the way for Vilhaze. And there is the fucking title drop. Team Millicent. Look, Millicent's soundtrack is amazing. And that, my friends, is Kikomari, the Vampire Countess no Momon. Or the vexations of a shadow vampire princess. Now, I'm glad we were able to watch this. I was a little bit worried because Yuri shows like this, you know, it's not the most exciting, right? And some people might be turned off because it's Yuri. But still, from the trailer, I thought there was big potential. This was like a Yuri battleship, which was very fun. Pretty girls, cute girls doing hype shit. What's there not to like? I hear that there's like a lot more content ahead and there's gonna be like season two stuff. And it seems to be setting that stuff up with Carlos Brothers. So whenever there's a season two announcement and trailer, we will be there. And this was one of my favorite shows to watch from this season. But hey, if you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.